ironically came from somebody that in some way had a hand in making me a hairdresser. His name was Irvin Rusk. I'm actually from Glasgow, Scotland. I'd hang out in this local bar and every night about seven, eight o'clock, all these cute people would come in. I go, who the hell are they? And they go, they're hairdressers. Now you imagine other Ivy Leagues going, they're lawyers, they're too, you know, in this case, hairdressers. I used to go, oh shit, I want to be a hairdresser. My family didn't quite go with that. And that time I didn't take up the action of the dream. 20 years later, I'm at a hair show and I said to Urban Rusk, I'm opening a hair salon. And he looked me right in the eye and said, not everybody should be a salon owner. And he really was talking to me. Owners every day make the mistake because I'm a good hair cutter, I should open a salon. Ah, uh, danger, Will Robinson, danger. That is not the point. You could be the greatest hairdresser, the greatest performer, and be a really f manager, motivator, bookkeeper. You can imagine the chaos. And I should say that from my own testimony. Urban was absolutely right, even though my blind ignorance, oh no, it's gonna work. Kevin Costner, I hate you. If you build it, they will come. Because he was absolutely wrong. I built it and nobody came. I built it and nobody wanted to work there. So you have to go back again to what's your motivation, what's their motivation. Being a salon is the toughest job in the world. I warn people, don't think it's a rite of passage. So Irvin gave me the best piece of advice, which I ignored. And luckily for me, because I hang around with smart people, but if it took me a while to work out, what do you think it's like for a kid coming out of beauty school? So I'm going to go open my own salon. I'm going to call it woohoo he Yahoo for you. But the reality is you've got to really see the value. I don't own a product line. I could. I'm pretty famous. I look good in a hat. But yet, having my name on a shampoo bottle doesn't mean that much to me. And I think that the reality of business is this, I have no right to talk to an industry unless I have a salon. So it became a thing that is my passion. And... Uh, Urban Rusk is one of my favorite guys. He's the only left-handed hairdresser in the industry. Uh, you've seen great hair cutters like Reed Alsacin, but never a lefty. He's quite a mentor.